is it? Could you please tell me? What day is it? I'm confused, you see. Is it Sunday? No. Is it Monday? No. Is it Tuesday, Blue Day, Better Way, Tuesday? No, 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 no. Is it Wednesday? No. Is it Thursday? Shut up. Is it Friday, Saturday, Better Way, or Saturday? <laughs> Maybe it's tomorrow and maybe it's not. Maybe it's yesterday. I just forgot. Ninth birthday to Chad Michael Murray, the star of the Cinderella story. Your host, Devin Pike. <laughs> of all the people I would have expected a birthday shout out from, that was not what I was expecting at all. Uh, <laughs> other one pig man can throw me off pretty much right from the jump. Kitties, welcome to Universal Remote, the online quiz show with production value equal to or greater than at least either of the national conventions going on this month, and definitely the one that's going on this week. Live and direct from Network 23, alongside my two fuzzy co-hosts and chemo kitties, Woody and Leslie on scoring, and Pigman, our director of marketing and merchandising. I am your humble host, Devin Pike. Thank you very much for joining our weekly trivial diversion. I'm going to go over the rules in a second, but this is a direct message because we're doing things, we're changing things up, we're uh, trying to make things easier, simpler, less glitch-free, because there's going to be glitches, it's live broadcasting, that's just how it works. So, here's the deal, if you are watching this on either the YouTube site, youtube.com, or on twitch.tv, you need to go to universalremote.tv slash live because everybody is going to be playing on one page. We're not splitting the scoring up between YouTube and Twitch anymore. Everybody's playing in the same prize pool, points pool, shall we say. And the lag time will be a lot less because the scoring that you see is going to be happening at the same time as the chat people are seeing it. So if you're watch all watching the exact same window and chatting in the exact same place, then we're all going to have a level playing field. Never let it be said that I don't want uh, um, fairness. So I'm going to take a little sip and allow other people to get over to universalremote.tv slash live and we'll, we'll go a couple more minutes for that um, so actually that gives me an opportunity to ask you this question lately I've been getting presents from people it was my 50th birthday a few weeks ago a few weeks ago yeah uh, six weeks ago and um, there are still gifts that are coming in. And I got this package today from You Goat Mail. And it is a lovely stuffed goat. Love this. It's awesome. It is from YouGoatMail.com. And the card says nothing other than, and I quote, Not for sex. I want to know who sent this because I don't know. There's nothing in the package. There's nothing on the package except for uh, Billy here and this card. So someone 
Some one of you knows who did this. One of you knows who did this. Um, I gotta name this bastard too. I don't know what I'm gonna call him. I think I'm gonna call him Sean, for reasons that will become clear at snack time. So, uh, hopefully everybody's had a chance. If this is your last call, if you're watching this on either YouTube.com or Twitch.tv, go in your browser, go to UniversalRemote.tv slash live, or you can go to UniversalRemote.tv and click the live button at the top, where you can also, and eventually, because we, we set it up this week as well, you can see your scoring across the entire season. Until then, I'm going to take a little sip here. Get one more chance. Okay, so. As for the rules for our game, it is incredibly simple to play. All you have to do is to sign in to our chat window over here, right over here on the right, and play along by putting your answers in the chat window. If you're on your desktop, it's over on your right. If you're on your mobile, all you have to do is scroll down. You can even keep playing the video and just scroll into the chat window and enter your questions there if you're playing on your mobile device. Everybody gets points. It's a new rule for season two. Everyone who gets a correct answer before the next question appears in the chat gets five points. 30 points if you're the first person to get it in, 20 points for second, and 10 for third. And all of those points double, including the correct answer points in the second round. So, everybody in, pot's right. <clears throat> Let's wheel them around and get underway with our first question of the evening. Our first category, of course, is pay attention. It's our weekly dive into the last seven days of pop culture happenings. So let's see how many of you are actually reading the articles and not just clicking like on the headlines. Here we go. This is question number one. Music videos still exist, kiddies, just not on MTV. Which band's new clip, Dynamite, cracked YouTube's first day views record, racking up a mind-numbing 98 million views in 24 hours? 98 million views in 24 hours. It's just insane. I'm, I'm shocked at how, you know, it... it, it I mean, the, the, let's face it, this band's uh, fan base is just amazing, and they made it happen. All right, question number two. This weekend, DC held an online convention called DC Fandom, promoting various uh, Warner Brothers and DC projects, including Matt Reeves' reboot of the Batman. Who is going to be cleaning the blood off of Robert Pattinson's bat suit as Alfred Pennyworth in this new film? See, everybody's seeing Pattinson now because the, the teaser trailer came out and now they're all just bitching about the Batmobile which just looks like a Dodge Charger. Kid it out. <sighs> Ridiculous. Alright. Question three. Gotham Knights is the new solo co-op video game coming from Warner Brothers and instead of Bruce's parents getting killed again this time Batman himself has supposedly snuffed it. Name two of the four Batman-based characters that you can play as in the game. Once again, Gotham Knights, the new uh, solo and co-op video game coming out from Warner Brothers. Instead of Bruce's parents getting killed for the 95th time, this time Batman has run up the curtain and joined the choir in Invisible. Fortunately, also, we don't have to see Bruce's parents getting killed in the Batman either. Although I'm sure they'll sneak in some reference to it because Batman, he is the knight, he is vengeance, he is sparkly. Question number four, Peyton Reed is certain that a sequel can happen one of these days, even though there have been five sequels to this film already, albeit straight to video. What 2000 film, according to Peyton Reed, seems ripe for the trip back to the well? Once again, it's a 2000 film that Peyton Reed famously starred in, and she thinks that it's time to get the band back together and make an actual film sequel for it. We'll see if it actually happens or not. All right, that's it for round one. Let us move all the way 
into round number two. That, of course, well, it's not of course because you don't know it yet. It's not, it's all uncharted territory at this point. It is top shelf. This category is like the staff picks at Blockbuster, but it's from me, Woody, Leslie, and Pigman. Tonight, we're gonna hope that you watch this comedy from 1985. Here's question one. Our movie's star, Lane Meyer, is dumped by his girlfriend, Beth. He contemplates death, and he also notices that his neighbor, Ricky, has picked up a French girl. Even his brother, Badger, has used this book to pick up women. Name the book that Badger is using to pick up women. Okay. Da, 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 da. Can't hum any music from this movie either. Question number two. Our film's director, Savage Steve Holland, was an animator before he directed this, his first feature film. Holland previously animated whammies for what TV game show? And if you're playing along with this, we've referenced this many, many times. It makes me, it would, it would make me almost sad if you didn't get this answer correct. Question number three. Two dollars! I want my two dollars! What was the two dollars for? Two dollars. There are times when they think that this character has outlived everything else from the film. And finally, question number four. Last question. What movie are we talking about? <laughs> we're going to do Top Shelf again occasionally. I think we're going to let Woody pick this next one. So, Woody... Be thinking about that because we're definitely going to need your input on it. All right, kids, that is going to kill off Top Shelf for this time. That, of course, means that it is snack time. Now, I'm going to tell you this because this was something that, I mean, I didn't really have a snack time uh, motif set aside for this week. I was just basically going to talk about various things that are going on in my life and your lives and everybody else's lives. But um, my dear friend and current leaderboard, uh, Paul Flagsitta, Rob Irvin, does a... He'll, he'll read various books. Sometimes it's poetry. Sometimes it is... Um, well, a lot of times it's Dr. Seuss. And today he went back to the basics. And he read probably the most famous Dr. Seuss book out there. That, of course, being Green Eggs and Ham. And in the chat for this, because he live reads it on uh, Facebook, and it's really awesome. I love it when he does it, because it's really, really fun. Someone in the chat said, we really need to hear Sean Connery reading this. And I took up the mantle on that. It's a quick read. And we need time to do the scoring on this. So I'm going to read a bit of this. Okay. That's fine. Green Eggs and Ham as given to you by a horrible impersonation of Sean Connery. I am Sham. Sham I am. That Sham I am. That Sham I am. I do not like that Sham I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sham I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sham I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sham I am. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. 
Would you, could you in a car? Eat them, eat them, here they are! I would not, could not, in a car. You may like them, you will see. You may like them in a tree. I would not, could not, in a tree. Not in a car, you let me be! I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. A train, a train. Could you, would you on a train? Not on a train, not on a tree, not on a car. Let me be. I would not, could not in a box, with a fox, with a mouse, in a house, here or there, anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Shay, in the dark. Here in the dark. Could you, would you in the dark? I would not, could not in the dark. Would you, could you in the rain? I would not could not in the rain, not in the dark, not in the train, not in a car, not in a tree, not with a house, not in a fox. I do not like them, Sham. You see, not in a house, not in a box, not with a house, not with a fox. I will not eat them here nor there. I do not like them anywhere. You do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sham I am. Could you, would you with a goat? I could not, would not with a goat. Would you, could you on a boat? I could not, would not with a boat. I could not, would not with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. He will not eat them on a train. Not in the dock, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. You do not like them, so you say. Try them, try them and you may. Try them and you may, I say. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam, I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. I would eat them in the rain. I'll eat them on a train. In a car, in a tree, they are so, so good, you see. I'll eat them in a box. I will eat them with a fox. I'll eat them in the house. I'll eat them with a mouse. I will eat them here or there, say. I'll eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sham I am. The eternal classic, Green Eggs and Ham, as delivered from a very angry Sean Connery. I'm happy with it. I'm good with it. You get that one, Leslie, because I don't know if I can do that every single week. So let's take a look at the scores, shall we? Where are they? I didn't even have them up. Scoring. Ah, oh, come on. That's okay. I got it. There we go. All right. So, um, with points going through this here contest, oh, nope, I need to hit the right tab. I'm looking at the correct tab. Thank you, Leslie. I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> 10 different players with points in this first round. Third place with 70 is Shannon, Ken with 130, and our, our pole sitter, racking them up. 10 points in the lead, DJ Bam, Rob Irvin. But you know I say it over and over again, don't mean nothing. It means absolutely nothing because the points are doubling. And here we go into round number two. We start with, I'm sorry you had to see that. It's like we heard the fart and needed to smell it too. Why didn't we leave? Oh, answers. Um, BTS was the artist behind the show, the uh, music video Dynamite. Andy Serkis is playing Alfred Pennyworth in Matt Reeves as the Batman. Robin, Red Hood, Nightwing, and Batgirl are four characters you can play as in Gotham Knights. And Bring It On is the film that Peyton Reed wants to revisit 21 years later. Um, How to Pick Up Trashy Women is the book that Badger is using to pick up women. 
it works for him. Press Your Luck was the show that Savage Steve Holland was animating whammies for. The newspaper subscription cost $2, and for some reason, uh, Lane Meyer was set upon by this paper boy. And of course, the movie we're talking about is Better Off Dead. Now! Now! I'm sorry you had to see that. It's like the fart that we all heard and we needed to smell it too. Why didn't we leave? Don't know. I'm going to list these stars of movies in reverse order of notoriously bad films. And you are going to give me the title. Here we go. Question number one. I say, here we go. Question number one. Carol Kane, Tess Harper, Jack Weston, Charles Grodin, Isabella Adjani, Dustin Hoffman, and Warren Beatty. I love Carol Kane. Anything she's in, it elevates it, but even she could not help this notoriously bad film. Of course, it's notoriously bad. It's not that bad to me. I like it. Other people, not so much. All right. Question two. David Allen Greer, Ed Gale, Debbie Lee Carrington, Patricia Arquette, Matthew McConaughey, Kate Beckinsale, Peter Dinklage, and Gary Oldman. And I swear to God, if I find out you people are actually Googling these, I'm going to be pissed at all of you. Every last one of you. All right. Question three, Richard Tyson, Sylvan Landry, Christian Tessier, Michael Byrne, Sabine Carcenti, Kim Coates, Forrest Whitaker, Barry Pepper, and John Travolta. And no, it's not a Scientology training video. Finally, question number four. Phil Morris, Travis Van Winkle, Jerob Duplays, Method Man, Diedrich Baker, Kevin Sorbo, Ken Devashian, Carmen Electra, and Sean McGuire. <laughs> wow. I can't believe all you people knew that one. That's really amazing to me, because there's no way I would have gotten it. No, no, Brack, no. Oh, Brack, why you gotta be so Brack? Round number four is the title of tonight's episode. It is called Right on Time. Our hero is certainly gonna die. He or she is looking the Grim Reaper right in the flippin' face. Your job is to tell us who came to their rescue and whisked them to safety or their next bout of impending doom, whichever comes first. You can either give us the character or the actor, or, hey Leslie, double points if they name both. Once again, you can give us the character, you can give us the actor, or double points if you give us both. Crack your fingers, here we go. Question number one. Indiana Jones and Short Round are in a chamber slowly being filled with spikes. Who saves the day? <laughs> and yes, uh, Leslie, I will accept you kicking me in the crotch for spraying this on you. I'll take that. Question number two. I need warp speed in three minutes or we're all dead. Admiral Kirk has yelled this a lot, but the Reliant has a Genesis torpedo. It's about to go boom, boom. Who is going to thwart Khan's vengeance? Once again, who thwarts Khan's vengeance? Maybe I should have flip-flopped these. Maybe this one should be a question one. Oh, 
I'm out of water, which means it must be time for the game to end. Question number three. The alien ships are over a bunch of U.S. capital cities. There's a countdown embedded in our own satellites. Who tells the president to get the hell out of Dodge before time's up? And our fourth and final question of the evening. Tug Speedman and the cast of Tropic Thunder are about to get blown to hell in a helicopter by the leader of Crimson Dawn. Who tosses a TiVo into the path of an RPG? Once again, Tugger Nuts is in trouble. Who tosses a TiVo into the air to block an RPG heading towards the cast of Tropic Thunder? All right, kitties, that is going to wrap it up for Right on Time. And of course, that also means that it wraps it up for Universal Remotes questions for a Monday night. It is hot as balls. I'm going to give Leslie time to do the scoring because she's going to need a lot of time on this because you guys did a great job on round two. I love you, Leslie. I know. I'm sorry. I owe you. I owe you. I think I owe you a stake for that. I think I owe you a stake for this one. Let's go over the answers for round two while she feverishly plots my demise. She's going to be the one who tries to kill me. And I think I'm only going to be able to say for herself. Sushi. Okay, sushi's fine. Um, the three leads that should have told you, Isabella and Johnny, Dustin Hoffman, and Warren Beatty were the stars of Ishtar. Kate Beckinsale, Peter Dinklage, and Gary Oldman were in a film that a lot of you said were great. Tiptoes. I have not seen Tiptoes. I am going to tell you that this category came straight from Pigman. Because nobody loves bad movies more than Pigman. Except for this one. I knew this one completely. Uh, Forrest Whitaker, Barry Pepper, John Travolta, Kim Coates. Um, yeah, Battlefield Earth. Which actually is a Scientology training video when you come to think of it. Um, I did not realize that... Um, Wait, was Dinklage? Okay, the Dinklage is that. All right. So I knew Sorbo was in it. I knew Method Man was in it. Um, Sean McGuire, Carmen Electra, Ken Davishian in Meet the Spartans. And right on time, um, that is a, it was a category that um, I, I had a lot of fun putting together. I wanted to at least give you a, a little snippet of how the game is going to go when we start the game. So, if you follow us on social media, which is, uh, it's the same thing across U uh, YouTube, Twitch, um, no, they, they don't have that because those are channel names, um, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all three of them are Uni Remote Game. And if you follow them, I'm even going to give you a free answer from the, from the first round in there. It'll be like a free square on the bingo card. So, follow us on there and you'll know what the... Uh, answer of the week is so um, in right on time Kate Capshaw's Willie Scott saves Indiana Jones in short round from the Temple of Doom it wasn't Scotty who saved the day for once it was Spock who ran downstairs took off the ma massive thermos top and reset the warp coils look man it, no one wanted it to make sense it's just, Spock died that's the big part of it um, Leonard Nimoy, of course, the the in, in amazing Spock. Jeff Goldblum played David Levinson, who interpreted the signal embedded in our own satellites, counting down to the first batch of massive destruction in Independence Day, and simply my favorite batshit way to save everybody's asses. Rick Peck, the manager of Tug Speedman played by Ben Stiller, who was the co-writer and director of the film Tropic Thunder, throws a TiVo up into the air, which is the whole reason that the movie existed, was because Tug needed a TiVo, basically. 
And Rick Peck was played, of course, by the great Matthew McConaughey while he was still in his all right, all right, all right phase and not in the uh, true detective phase. He was still sunbaked and playing bongos everywhere. All right. Let's see how Leslie is doing on the scoring sheet. I'm going to wonder if she's ready. She's still plotting out points. Not yet. Okay. While Leslie is cracking these out in real time, because she's doing a fantastic job, Leslie, I love you. Sushi, whenever you want. And I'll even find something to eat there. Because usually I don't eat sushi. I'm allergic to avocado, so it's really easy for me to have an anaphylactic episode if I'm eating sushi. But for you, Leslie, I will take you to sushi. I'll order some tempura. It should be fine. Um, I'm serious about this. I do want to grow the show. Um, and the, the bounty is still, the bounty is going to run all the way through till the end of season two. If you bring a brand new player into the game and in the pregame chat, that person says, Hey, I'm so-and-so and such and such invited me. You all get double points for the first round. The person you bring gets double points and you get double points. So help me grow the show. Let's, this is fun. It's fun for me to put together. It's fun for everybody involved, with the exception of Leslie, because she's having to grind through all these scoring pieces right now. Um, all the rest of it is great. It's a hell of a time, and we want more people to be a part of it. So I, I, I don't care if your friends are lame. That means you're going you're gonna to beat them, and it's going to be even more funny. So... As Leslie gets these last piece in there, um, I know that the pronunciation is not Dr. Seuss. I know that it's actually a different, it's, it's like Swess or something because his widow actually came out and said, that's not how you pronounce it. Theodore Geisel's widow at one point produced this massively long Dr. Seuss poem that said it's not Seuss. So... I don't know why. We've all thought it was Seuss all throughout it, but you know, I guess that's how it goes. Um, let's see. Last person invited beats you too often. <laughs> like Royce, but with an S. So Dr. Seuss. Wow, that's really interesting. I mean, I'm not German, so I wouldn't know that. I'm I'm Scottish. I'm not German. Um, Dr. Seuss. Okay. I mean, I'll take John's word for it. He's, you know, he's a smart cookie. Um, little scoring update. Thank you for playing this because um, right now, not only is the national convention going on for, the, for uh, RNC So White, but the uh, Stars are playing game two of their second round series with the Colorado Avalanche. We're in the first intermission and Colorado leads it one goal to nil. So let's take a look at our scores because Leslie is done. I love you. You're amazing. Um, let's see. Yep, that's right. 12 players in the money for this game. Third place, Shannon Hatcher with 330 points. Ken Goach with 390 in second. And retaining the belt for another week. The Iron Man, your man, my man, the D-Man, Rob Irvin, with 440 points. We have brought it all together. We are having an amazing time, and I'm glad that you're all here for it. Once again, we'll see you back again next week. Grow the show, bring people on, and let's kick this thing off and make it a great one. Be safe out there. Have a fantastic time. I love each and every one of you, but not in that kind of a way. Sean the Goat says, not for sex. Peace, guys. Talk to you soon.